what's up guys shark gaming tv here today in dust 2 map overview we're gonna talk about sniping sniping part two we're gonna talk about middle so i hope you guys will enjoy so this is how i like to snipe mid first of all i'm gonna go for that pick mid shoot that bullet if i don't get him <clears throat> sorry about that i'm not gonna go for the repeat why because he only has that little crack to snipe through only that little crack so there's some good chance he's gonna get me as of me on my side well i gotta snipe like through all of this i gotta scan all of this plus suicide so there is some good chance that he's gonna kill me so i'm gonna go for the first shot if i miss the first shot i'm gonna go straight into b give some support to my b player then they're gonna smoke tunnel just for the initiate rush see if they're there if they're not there we're good i'm gonna go back mid as soon as it's smoke i'm going back mid and i'm gonna watch top mid here you want to do a low peak you don't want to peak too wide you want to do a low peak and just stay there and you're gonna hold that angle and i'm gonna hold that that angle for a couple of seconds then i'm gonna spot a guy top mid or not like right now i spotted him so i'm either gonna go for the straight shot or if he cross quick i'm gonna try to go and hit him through that door right there that time i got him no i don't get him all the time that was just luck but i try to do that shot a lot sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this time it worked that's perfect anyway so yeah i'm gonna go for my shot go and b come back mid check my top there and then if i don't spot somebody there i'm gonna wait some like maybe 10 or 15 seconds into the round then i got my guy in b he can say they're rushing lower if they're rushing lower i'm going to go there and watch that and go right there be on my box if they don't rush i'm i'm gonna hold that mid a little longer so now i know that they can be creeped up they cannot walk i've waited the whole like 15 20 seconds that it takes to go there while walking so i'm gonna pick up that angle right there i'm gonna try to get that guy if he goes on that box if he goes under there i'm gonna be able to snap him under just like that and if you go on cat well i'll be able to snap him there the most important thing is that you don't use your double scope there it's important that you don't reason is simple so the reason why you don't want to double scope is simple see i spotted the flash there this time i didn't avoid it threw another flash def I have time to spot the flash and go out. So, if you double scope like this, throw another flash. I don't see it. So I'm gonna get blind. He can peek through that door there and get me. Or if he don't get me, if I like get blind and I move up, he can just creep out that door right there and be waiting for me here. And if he has an AK or something like this and I go back for my pick after at that door there, well, he's gonna get me easily down there. So that's why when you're holding that angle right there, you never want to double scope. So you guys can pick that guy there, you can snap the guy if he goes that door, or you can snipe the guy, snap the guy if he goes up there. Of course, if you're not good at snapping your target, I don't recommend you do this. You're gonna go there, snapping that guy lower there is easy. If he pops out the top right there, as soon as you see him, what I recommend is that you just leave your spot. Why? Because you hold that angle, he's gonna be creeping up that catwalk right there. And if he's scoped in and you miss your shot like this, you move out, you're gonna get killed. So as soon as you see him, instead of shooting, instead of moving your mouse and shoot, just leave your spot. And that's it. When they smoke mid like this, you wanna hold that angle right there. And you're gonna see them cross on top of the smoke. See, I see him. I had plenty of time to shoot him and most of the time he doesn't even see me. So that's a perfect move for you guys if he's there. You can even single scope there. So you're gonna be able to see if they flash over. You're gonna be able to see if they push through the smoke down here. So when they do this, you can just hold that angle. You gotta be careful because they can nade stack you also. So you gotta be careful about that. But it's a good angle to hold when the middle is smoke like this. All right, and if they do that smoke, some of the people will just jump on that box like that. Like that, and go up cat. 
so if you hold that angle you see the smoke there you can also take that angle right there now you're gonna see them cross and you're gonna see them jump like as you can see i saw him jump there see i see him so i can just shoot him through that door right there and i hit that guy so that guy is low he's gonna go up cat then i call that they're going up cat he's lit and my people from a can just throw an eight down cat and hit that guy now he's probably has like something like 10 hp or so all right so that's it for that other angle right there when they smoke it that other angle sorry about that okay so that is another angle i like to hold at mid i'm just gonna stay through that corner spot him go through that crack and i'm gonna try to shoot him while he's crossing through that crack behind the door and try to aim for the head as you can see i spot the guy cross and this is where i take my shot of course you won't hit that shot all the time but when you hit that guy it's gonna be another easy kill so you spot him through that crack and you shoot through the door and you're able to fall back if you miss him like if he rushes through the door or something you're able to fall back pick a second shot and hide behind that box that's he spawn another thing i like to do in mid i like to go through and uh, through double door and go behind that box right there and spot lower b when they come out of lower b there's a lot of chance that they won't be expecting you there and you can shoot that guy as soon as he go down these stairs so that's another spot that people won't be expecting you and once you get that kill well you can go into double door quick and hide from the rest of the people if they're pushing up mid or something you can also throw a smoke like that and then you want to go into your lower spot your lower and go back into these double door so on t side the first pick right there you want to make sure that you gauge your reaction time let's see like let's say you're on the right side right there you want to aim through that door or something like this you want to make sure that you get the sniper if he's in middle so if he crosses like let's say he jump cross you want to make sure that you hit your target if you don't have that reaction time go for a door shot you can hit him through that door so do that cross again let's say you have a store reaction time you want to aim for the door now he's gonna cross and you can hit him through that door see i hit him so it all depends on your reaction time if you're fast enough go for the direct hit like i did if not well you want to go for the other hit if you're at a different spot here same thing apply you can go for dart if you're fast enough or else you want to hit your target through that door but i don't recommend if you make a shot do not go back for a second shot or if you want to go back for a second shot after your first shot you want to go suicide right there and get your shot from there or else you can get picked pretty easily they can either throw a flash on top you're gonna get blind for half a second and he's can he can do the second pick another good spot that that little corner right there like only seeing the top of your head like this and if you miss your shot you're out of there quick all right so that's the way you want to snipe your mid as a t side and suicide always a good option because he's only gonna see your head and you got a clear shot and he has no choice to be at that high right there next up mid here that spot right there make sure that you don't just peek and stand there you're gonna get picked by that guy very easily if he's there of course so you want to do like maybe like a, a small peek and then you want to go for your shot you go for a small peek you let him know you're there and then you go for the fast shot you go for the quick shot or else you just peek him spot him and just don't go there anymore you call he's there you go for a smoke mid or something like this once you're mid smoke then you're clear to cross and do whatever the hell you want let's say you want to hit your cat you flash over and then you want to hit your cat all right so this is the way i love to snipe mid on t side i'm gonna go for my fast peak here like i will spot once to adjust my crosshair like that then i'm gonna place my crosshair hit my shot if he's not there i don't recommend you guys to creep up like that here he's gonna be able to shoot you even though there's a smoke of course if you throw your mid smoke on the box right there then you're clear to go 
If you got a smoke on the box there, you are clear to go, of course. But you gotta make sure you hit your smoke. Then after that, well, it's all about clearing your corner, same way we did in Scan Your Corner in the last episode of the map overview. Alright, so let's talk about that mid flash right there. Like I told you guys, never flash like this. Here's the reason. You're gonna throw that flash. He's gonna see it. You're gonna go through the east door. You think it's clear. You're gonna watch your CD spawn. And you're gonna get shoot through the side. You think the mid is clear. You never heard that guy jump there. Why? Beca All because he saw your flash. So the flash you wanna throw when you do this is this one right there. You wanna hold both of your keys at the same time. And you simply wanna throw it like this. This one will blind him very hard. See where that flash goes? You see that line right there? It pops right into his face right there. So he's gonna get blind as hell. So that guys is the way I like to snipe my mid when I'm on CT side in the dust too. So I hope you guys enjoyed and next up is going to be A. So I hope y'all stay tuned. Peace.